Hey guys, my name is Nexus, and this is Journey Escape from Giles at Peak, made by Sperry, July 20th, 2000. This is a two-part campaign, and this is the first part of the campaign, which is a prison escape mission. Uh, there's a little bit of a bug at the beginning due to the new dark patch, so let's get on to it, and I will see you guys on the other side. Okay guys, here's normal, hard, and expert. Now, I do want to just point this out, because unfortunately, I will automatically fail this on Expert. Where hast thou gone? I haven't made any noise, but he sees the other people through the bars. It's very unfortunate. So, I'm going to be playing it on hard this time. And now I actually have a fighting chance. Oh, he's actually hurting the guy. Okay. That's new. Yeah. Uh, I don't fancy my chances here. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Happens every time. Okay, good. Now he's stuck. Uh, that's happening too. I'm pretty sure that's a new dark issue. Because <laughs> that hasn't happened the last time I played this. Yeah, he's just gonna... Yeah, he's gonna keep doing that. Okay. Well, that works for me. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here picking the lock. Okay, now I could, I suppose, if I wanted to, try and get up there and skip a whole bunch of this stuff, but I'm gonna have to come back down here anyway. Should probably look before I start running in a direction. What is that? Who goes? I would like that. Thank you. Uh, the one thing I really don't like about this mission, though, is just the uh, amount of keys that you get. There are a lot of keys. Uh, yeah, I kind of doubt my chances here, but why not? Excuse me. Okay, do I actually have to pick this, or can I just... Yep. And then I'm just gonna, uh, lock this, even though it actually doesn't really matter. Uh, may I have that? Thank you. Excuse me? What do we have here? Let me just, uh, just gonna take all these keys, thanks. There are a lot of keys. I would say that there are at least ten keys. Overall. Okay, does this work? There we go. I'd love to feel bad for this hammerite guy, but I swear. I thought I spied something. They say that every time. Hi! What you doing? I don't exist. I 
I'm I'm pretty sure I probably should have played this without the new dark patch at this point. Um Yeah. So How's the family? Oh no. Okay. Yep. No. Whence came thee? That figures that was gonna happen. Or oh, okay, nope. There we go. You made up your mind. No, thank you. I don't want this at all. That wasn't what I wanted either. Okay, I'm just gonna uh lock the door for a second. This is where knowing the game engine comes in. So yeah, I got this gas mine. Um, I shall spy the air long, thief. Okay, excuse me. Yeah, it works. I don't really need the gas mine anywhere else, so I'm not too upset about using it now. Um. <laughs> I did play a nice game of chase with him, trying to uh, just avoid him instead of uh, grab his attention. Didn't work so well. So, is the alarm actually on right now? Cause I can't, I can't actually tell. Um, I can see that the lights lit up, but I can't actually figure out um, if it's on or not. Cause nobody else seemed to react to it. A lot of these books are just sort of simple little things. Like most of the that one was actually useful, telling me where something is located. But so far, most of them kind of no, not really. Uh, that one, thank you. have that key yet I know I don't because it's upstairs if I'm cur did I get myself stuck thank you and believe it or not it's not actually this key so yeah glad I grabbed this key though and I'm actually really glad that there's two or three iterations of the same key in various different places but at the same time there's a lot of keys three I've got three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven so far. And I'm pretty sure there's at least five others. Oh yeah, okay, now I can hear the alarm. Yeah, I don't really care. Another copper key. Okie doke. Uh, turbine room key. I'll just move that and do that. Nope, alarm's still on. Not to really, I'm not really sure what those do. It's uh, actually entirely possible they might have just been forgotten. No, he won't. Okay, so that just gave me the objective to um, locate a certain book. Find out about what's it called, Walpurgis Night, um, which is actually Halloween. For those of you who don't know, uh, Walpurgis Night is the origin of Halloween, sort of. It's a little bit more complicated than that. It combines uh, combines uh, harvest rituals and uh, harvest ritual with a quotation mark. It's not really a ritual; it's a celebration. Um, yeah, but pagan celebrations of the harvest and a couple other things. Okay, so I don't have a key to this. Never mind. This works though. Um, but yes, Walper just night is supposed to be the night when a whole bunch of demons are hanging about doing, you know, demon stuff. And Halloween plays into that. In that uh, it was 
thought that you needed to appease the demons. And somehow that got into, uh, like, appeasing people dressed up as demons because you would dress up as a demon so that they couldn't find you because you'd be, you know, disguised as one of them. As always, when you try and explain a, a custom of some kind, it ends up getting, you know, immensely complicated in ways that it shouldn't. And I actually really need to get in here. Hey! I should be able to find something in here. I should be able to find everything in here. Blackjack, my buddy. My friend. I don't think I'm missing any objectives either. Um. By going to, um... Well, now that's strange. Last time I played this, on the same difficulty, it said something other than holy water. It said, like, tap water or something. That's a little bit strange. Um, hmm. Okay, let's see. So I could just go straight down there. Or I can go back here and see what I missed, because I'm sure I missed one door off to my left. Don't actually know if this door matters at all. Um, but yes, well, Burgess Night is actually an interesting holiday. It's not really a holiday at all. Okay, yep, I need that stuff. Okay, I didn't shut that door, but thank you. Thank you anyway. Thanks for your stuff. I'm just gonna leave now. I have to go back there anyway. Um, but I would rather go the long way. So don't mind me. Uh, that said, though, I don't actually know where the exit is. Um, and that's kind of important. Oh, and I actually also found out how to quickly end a mission when one doesn't end properly. The uh, difference is that New Dark actually remapped. Okay, actually, that just takes me back to the prison where I came out of. Um, I don't need to go that way. And you can't actually open it from this side anyway, so it's kind of pointless. Um, but yes, New Dark mapped the end. Well, it's not called end mission, it's actually called win mission. Activate the success uh, thing. And it made it so that you win the mission automatically for testing purposes, usually. Um, and it's bound to control shift alt end instead of control shift end as it used to be. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm not going up there just yet. Uh, I got other stuff I gotta do first, you know. Steal some stuff. Okay, where am I going? Oh, what's up there? That is... Wasn't there, like, a secret way to open that? I'm probably just crazy. Interesting. Uh, this leads. Does this just lead back to a uh, place that I couldn't open earlier? It doesn't sound like it. I don't have a key for it anyway. Where is that frog beast? He's got a key. Ah, I did not have a steel key before. How did I miss that? 
Okay, well, I needed this anyway, so, you know. Whatever. It's over here. Nothing. Okay. I'm going up top, then. Or am I? I'm going this way first. And then I am going under here. I'm glad that I found this steel key, because I kind of needed that to open this. And I'm not sure what that did, but I did it anyway. Oh, no. There we go. Here we go. Is this the exit? <laughs> this sounds like it's the exit. I'm gonna bet that this is the exit. I love running into walls and almost dying because you're going too fast. And you can't actually jump so fast that you run into walls and kill yourself. It's probably one of the things people like about this game. You know, I should probably actually check if I can open this with a key. Let's see. Okay. One key. Two key. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oops. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Eleven keys and none of them open this lock. I'm not mad, I just don't like having so many things in my inventory. Um, but this may have been before the point where it was really, uh... Where it was really easy to set up the key that disappears after you use a trick. Um, I'm not actually sure when that happened. Actually, it might have been a TNH script, so that would also be uh, something that not everybody wanted to use in their missions. Um, external scripting obviously means people have to download a whole nother thing just to play your mission. You heard nothing. He heard everything. So, yeah, gonna have to deal with this guy. He was gonna come in here anyway, so I'm not that worried about it. Oh, uh, hey, jerk. I love how the Hammerites always overreact when you hit them over the head. Yeah. That'd be too easy if I could open up all the warehouses with the warehouse key. This is not a criticism, I just get frustrated when it, a mission seems like it's a key hunt, but it, uh, it's really not, actually. Um, a key hunt would be one of the more recent missions out there. That I don't even remember what it's called, actually, but it involved a witch in a gigantic mansion. Um. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank right now. I don't remember what it's called. But that, that, my friend, was a key hunt. And oh, what a key hunt it was. You literally couldn't go from one part of the mansion to the next without, uh getting a key for, you know, get a key for point A, get a uh, key in there for point B. When you're in point B, you have to get the key for point C, and so on and so on and so on, and that's kind of what defines a key hunt in general. 
Now, sable is an actual interesting word to use for that. No. Nobody's been here. Is that the? Why would you think that somebody's been here? Because, you know, why not use the healing potion? Um, as a fun fact, there's an archer that will pop out sometimes up there. But he actually, you know, there's no way to get to him. Uh, this would be where we went if we climbed up instead of down. There's actually nothing in the water there, I think. And now we're getting to place where I need stuff. Okay. So this is an interesting location because I, I'm not sure if uh, Sperry intended there to be a conversation here because there isn't, or it's just not triggering. Drop that the snake weapon. shows himself. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. The point that actually matters is here. So I'm going to take the only book that matters, which is this one. Antediluvian Civilizations. Oops. There we go. Okay, so... Huh. Interesting. Uh-oh. Where is that? Is that in there? Okay. Huh. That didn't happen last time. I think it's because I knocked out the person that was in there last time, though. Oops. Your beds are quite noisy. Um. Oh. What is... Central control divide. Okay, so that just gave us a clue to a secret. Yeah, okay, can't hear the alarm from there. I just find that interesting. Uh, you know, I just realized I don't actually want to open that door. Who passes there? That seems like a bad Nothing idea. Nothing to see now, I fear. Uh, but this would be <coughs> the safe I want to open, as told by that note. <coughs> Excuse me. Little hidden hammer there. <coughs> but, uh, let's see. Eastern. Eastern wall book on the eastern wall, probably up here. Uh, guide to the Stars with no E. Universe and its Frontiers with an extra E. Builder's Destiny. Exploring the Night Sky. I don't see a secret there. Uh, oop. Okay. Do I need one of these somewhere specific? Perhaps? Let's ask the journal again. Just to say, Dorcas installed control device for a safe. Yank a certain book on the eastern wall, second floor. Okay, well, he said eastern wall, second floor, which would be here. 
So it would be one of those. Because this is the eastern wall, second floor, but there's nothing behind it. Uh, I'm just going to take all these books with me. Nope, no dice. Where the heck are all these books? Uh, well that book just fell straight through everything, so that's something. Let's go backwards. Exploring the night sky. I'm going the wrong way again. No, okay, no, seriously. Let me do this. Nope. Okay, um, hmm. Eastern wall, second floor. Hmm. Let me just, uh, try this one. Nope. Well, this is definitely the library, so... There was no button to press here, was there? No, nope, no button. And that's the only thing on the eastern side of the second floor that really would work here, isn't it? Nope, there it is. It was all a ruse. Okay, what's in here? Aw, oh, he killed Xavier. Totally not really that surprised. Okay, so I need to escape. Presumably through those grates from earlier. How do I get back to those? Um, but yes, the reason why I don't talk while reading books, Archer, uh, the reason why I don't talk while reading books is in case I have to cut it out, uh, because I spend too long reading it. I usually don't. The reason why I don't usually talk while lockpicking is for the same reason if I want to speed it up, um which I know that there are at least five missions where I am going to have to speed up some lockpicking. Uh, as for which ones that I should have just gone the, down this way, this is where I wanted to go. Um, as for which missions those are, I actually don't know right now. So that's kind of just why I use it as a general way of, um, if I need to save time, then, you know, every little bit will count there. Does this count? Yeah! Okay, so that was Escape from Giles at Peak Prison. It's not that bad at all, actually. It's uh, quite interesting. I found most of the loot, missed about a hundred and some. 120. So, I'm going to go straight on to the next mission, which I still haven't actually decided, because I don't know how long it's going to take if it's going to be in the same video. But either way, I will see you guys next time.